multi-armed creature from outer space? Alien-like tentacles? Interterrestrial organisms from another planet? Is it possible that creatures of this sort can exist on planet Earth? This is no man's land, a zone not from another planet, but a habitat on Earth that exists between time zones. This is the intertidal zone, the area that is between the high and low tide levels that surround the Earth's oceans. This zone that exists between tides can be on rocks and in temporary pools or on the beach. It is here that creatures must be versatile and have the ability to survive, whether completely submerged or to suddenly discover that their watery protective layers have vanished. This bullier plough snail finds itself exposed by the outgoing tide, and its wriggling into the sand serves two purposes, avoiding sunburn and outwitting predators. The tide comes in, and once again the zone is covered, and the bullier emerge from their sandy burrows. First to emerge is their fleshy periscope, and once the all-clear is called, they expose themselves fully and are off in search of food. Easier than crawling is to make use of their underwater sail and use the ebb and flow to get mobile. Sometimes the ebb is a little strong and the surfing snail finds itself stranded a little above the high water mark. And safe again. While kelp gulls are at the top of the food chain in this zone, strangely enough, they cannot stomach bullia and therefore avoid these little snails. The gull has picked up a mussel, but needs to loosen its defiant shell a little before it can enjoy the meat inside. This sand mussel could be seconds. and using the muscle it's named after, it digs to safety. Once fully covered and safe, the sand mussel pokes out two siphons, one to inhale and the other to exhale. This little egret has also ventured into the zone in search of food. His target is a carnivorous clipfish that is also looking for something to nibble on, but ends up being nibbled upon. With the tide changing in six hour cycles, the rock pools fill up once again, bringing in fresh predators to hunt in the intertidal zone. And this Eastern Cape Rocky has struck gold and nabbed himself a juicy ragworm, a case of the eyes being bigger than the gullet. The meeting of two mighty elements is never a subtle affair, and where sea meets land, there is bound to be an extraordinary intercourse. because the twilight creatures who exist in this neither here nor there environment represent a startling array of shapes and colors. Lifestyles governed by the cyclic tidal action that exposes and submerges them, this no man's land that is created and then absorbed as the ocean breathes.